I'm glad you could join me. I hope you will turn in, the, in your Bibles to the book of Deuteronomy. In Deuteronomy chapter 23, we read about the idea of forgiveness. Now, this is going to come from a passage of Scripture that maybe you've never thought of forgiveness in that context, and yet that's what it really is about. In Deuteronomy chapter 23, Moses is explaining to the people in this last, uh, in these last speeches that he gives before he's going to die, he gives them final instructions, and he talks about the um, uh, the ways they're supposed to relate to one another and to the people around, and he says this in verse seven of chapter 23. Actually, I'll read seven and eight. You shall not abhor an Edomite, for he is your brother. You shall not abhor an Egyptian, because you were a sojourner in his land. Children born to them in the third generation may enter the assembly of the Lord. Now, how do I get forgiveness out of all of that? Well, you remember that when Israel was coming on the east side of the of uh, the Dead Sea, they came up on that side and they sought to uh, go through the land of Edom and the land of Moab and the land of Ammon in order the, to get to the place where they would cross the Jordan River into the land of Canaan. And the Edomites and the Moabites and the Ammonites said, no way, you can't come. And so even though Israel said, look, we'll pay you for uh, every drop of water that we drink, we'll pay you for, and we'll stay on the road so we don't mar any of your fields or anything like that, they still refused. Later on, the Edomites were going to be an ancient enemy of Israel and of Judah. In fact, you, you can read the book of Obadiah. That's, that's a passage of scripture that most of us don't usually read, but, but the whole point of the book of Obadiah is that the Edomites rejoiced in the fall of Judah many, many centuries later. And there was this enmity, this was, there was this, this uh, anger that was between the Jewish people and the Edomite people. But notice here in this passage that Moses says, look, don't abhor the Edomite because he's your brother. Now, what does he mean by that? He means by that that you have common ancestors. The Edomites were the, the descendants of Esau, and the Israelites were the descendants of Jacob, and Jacob and Esau, of course, were twins. And so they were, they were relatives in one sense. All of them were descendants of Isaac, and of course thereby, uh, or excuse me, uh, descendants of Jacob, and thereby descendants of Isaac and Abraham as well. And so, so don't abhor them. Don't turn away from them. And notice that he goes on and he says, don't abhor the Egyptians either. Now, the Egyptians should have been very offensive to the Jewish people, to the Hebrew people, because they enslaved the Jewish people for 400 some years. And so Moses is saying, don't abhor them either. And then I find it very interesting that in this very same passage in verse 8, he goes on to say that, that in the third generation, they will be able to enter the assembly of the Lord. There was a time, because of their failure to let Israel pass, their failure to let Israel out of captivity, and the judgment that God had to bring on them in order to make them uh, finally let them go, and the judgment he gave to Edom because of their failure to, uh, to welcome the Israelites. There was a time when God said, none of you will enter the assembly of the Lord. But here in verse 8, Moses, or the Lord through Moses, says they can enter in the third generation. God is forgiving them. God is saying, look, all people are important to me. They can come and they can meet the one who is true. 
and you don't have to restrict them. You don't have to keep them out. But I am forgiving them and I am welcoming them into my assembly in the third generation. And so there was a forgiveness that God gave. And he was extending that forgiveness and telling the people of Judah and Israel that they needed to extend that forgiveness themselves. Don't abhor these people but rather welcome them. And that's what he wants us to do as well. There are people who have offended us. There are people who have um, who, who have uh, taken advantage of them. Jesus told the disciples in the upper room, or as they were leaving the upper room, he said, uh, look, the world's going to hate you. But the Lord himself welcomes those that would turn to him. And so we need to be conscious of that as well. So I hope you'll do that. I hope I'll do that. I hope that together we will be able to be faithful even when people have used us and abused us. Father, we ask you to grant to us the grace to stand for you. I pray that your Holy Spirit would lead and direct and provide. I pray that we would... Uh, Listen to your voice, even when people have offended us. And I pray, Father, that we will extend your forgiveness to them, even as we have received forgiveness from you. We thank you for your grace and faithfulness to us. In the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.